his way. Doc, take a look at it. What's on that side? Breathe for me. Okay, breathe. Zach Graham spent a year in prison. He matured. He said he's hungry because he is playing catch up and he needs to move up now. I know it was a big step taking on such short notice. Sometimes you got to take a gamble. You know, everything in life is a gamble, and this is a gamble. And I felt like I wanted people to see what my heart was. I don't have no heart problems. I ain't scared to fight competition, tough competition. And I feel like I can beat this guy, so I took it. Pick the pace up. Pick the pace up this round. A lot of punches. The look of a man who's happy he took it at this point. Yeah. He is taking it, but in another sense, Steve. That's for sure. And, you know, body language tells you so much in a fighter. And he was just slumped in his corner. His elbows were up on the ropes. And he was heaving for breath. And Well, he's punching now. Nothing effective. But at least he's punching. Does he have enough of a gun in either hand to keep the guy off? And if not, Steve... What else can he do? Well, there's only two things he can do. Punch and punch and punch to the point where Chagayev feels reluctant to punch himself or move, move, move. Right. Where Chagayev can't reach him or can't catch up to him. He's really doing neither, and I haven't seen enough power from Graham to suggest that he can thwart Uzbek's uh, power and forward progress. Graham showing a lot of left shoulder, trying not to be so much of a target. There he is, backing against the ropes once again and just laying that left hand out. Nothing on it, no steam on his punches as he tries a chopping right. Just bouncing off the ropes as if that's going to propel him forward. Launch him into some offense. To guy a hard left to the head. Left to the body, partially blocked. And now it's Graham holding on with not even halfway through round three. Absorbing more punishment here. Show me something, Graham. And Benji Estevez telling Graham to show him something. We would agree. He's got to begin fighting back. As he talked about Hart not being a question here. Graham's been the chief sparring partner for quite some time now for Kirk Don't Johnson. But it's a little different when the gloves are a little lighter and there's no headgear, isn't it? It certainly is. There's a good right from Graham. And then he clinches. And it's Sugaya pushing him off, trying to set his offense in motion again. And here we go in the corner as Sugaya tees off. And it's Graham just trying to stay up right here with no offense. Less than a minute to go, but 50 long seconds for Zach Graham of Cincinnati. Will he get out of round three? Shagayev looks like a destroyer removing a building one brick at a time. He's in no rush. He knows he's got him hurt because he's trying to really go after him, and Benji Estevez has seen enough. Do you agree, Steve? I have no problem with that stoppage. I don't care who blows who doesn't. The fighter wasn't really fighting back. He wasn't competitive, so I have no problem with that stoppage. Punishment took the fight out of Zach Graham. The first loss on his record, he moves to 9-1-1. One, one. Ruslan Chagayev, a short night at the office. He had it his way, just carved up and served up Zach Graham, winning a TKO in three as the referee, Benji Estevez, stops it here in Yonkers, New York. There we see. Picture of dejection, naturally, but I would say regret and relief. Relief that it's over. Yeah, he didn't come in after the first 30 seconds. He didn't look like a fighter, like a prospect who wanted to take the next step. It was Chagayev all the way here. The pictures tell us nothing differently. Like a lot of southpaws, Chagayev paused with the right hand, the real power, the left. Look at the difference in power, that left hand compared to the right hook. And here's the end of the fight. There, there's no, there are no punches coming back from Graham. It doesn't matter if Chagayev's punches are clean, landing 
flush or not. The referee just saw nothing coming back for Graham. From his perspective, that was enough to stop the fight. And it does end in less than three heats. Zach Graham loses, and there we see the victorious Ruslan Chigaya. Dean Stone will make it official now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Benji Estevez Jr. calls a halt to this bout. The official time is 2 minutes 26 seconds of round number 3. Your winner by TKO, still undefeated, Ruslan Shagayev. Steve, very early in Ruslan Shagayev's career, he had a torn retina, he had hepatitis this last year, he hasn't fought a lot, but just grading him on the basis of a guy who didn't fight back. Did he do anything wrong? Did nothing wrong. He just didn't face much resistance. Obviously, we have to see what happens when he fights a guy who can move and frustrate him. When he fights a guy who can hit him and hurt him. You know what, though? He's got a lot of catching up to do in terms of where he stands with the other prospects from the class of 2000. But very few of those heavyweights have done anything spectacular. None of the heavyweights, uh, Malik Scott, Dominic Gwynn, etc., have really shown that much to say, oh, they're future world champions. So Chikayev can catch up. And Kenny Adams in his corner was in his corner when he won the European, when he won the world championship in 2000. The American trainer, as we look at Kenny Adams there, saying that he wants to move Chikayev, take another fight, step him up big. It's critical. I would get this guy back in the ring in two, in two months. Well, when you think this guy's had only, what, six, seven fights, you say, hey, they should take their time. But remember, he's been 10. They're ready for a fringe contender already. Kenny Adams sees what Chagayev does in the gym against some of the top heavyweights. Remember, Chagayev lives in Vegas, so he gets top sparring. I want to see this guy against, you know, he's a southpaw and he's a, an aggressive fighter, a power puncher. I want to see him against better competition. And so that's the first half of our Showbox Daily Double from Yonkers Radio.